Uh, three in the same ownership of Simon Manier and Isaac Sweat. Baraka de Tay is one of them. Uh, of course, the favourite piece and co top notch others. Bell Tour, very impressive at Kempton for Robert Stevens. Devilman for John Ferguson and Sam Twiston Davis. De Cosimo for Ruby Walsh and Hargam for AP McCoy. And Kalkir also for the Willie Mullins team in the second colours of Rich Ritchie. Karazak, one of two in the race for Alan King. Matariko for Paul Carberry and John Joe O'Neill. Officer Drivel, Jim Best and Noel Feely. Old Guard for Paul Nichols. Pano Chocola, Alan King and Aidan Coleman. Peace and Co, the favourite and have been favourite since that devastating British debut at Doncaster. Prairie Town, big outsider. Stars over the sea, not so much, but hooded and tongue-tied for the first time. Top notch in the white cap, distinguishing colours of the same owners of Peace and Co. And Petite Parisienne is the filly. And she's trained by Willie Mullins and ridden by Brian Cooper for Michael O'Leary's hurdles. And uh, that's just designed to keep the heat down in the early stages. There's a long run. They can be really trapping when they're jumping the first. So it's a short run to the opening flight. And it looks as though Ruby Walsh is going to be handy on Dicosimo in the pink jacket. A horse that uh, is reckoned to be a stout stayer. A strong galloper. Karazak needing some urging forward in maroon sleeves as they inch their way forward and the crowd getting excited the starters flag is raised for this JCB triumph hurdle premature roar from the crowd okay, come on and that's it they're away and a proper Gold Cup roar sends them on their way with Dicosimo the first to begin in this JCB Triumph hurdle from Petit Parisienne in second place Hargem, AP McCoy in the white cap on the far side, Officer Dribble is handily there followed by Kalkir in a light green cap and then top notch white cap there, the dark green jacket followed by Karazak, the nose banded old guard Peace and Co is held up a little off the pace at this stage about seven or eight from the end but they're well grouped together and Dicosimo appears to be setting a brisk pace from Officer Drivel. Hargam on the inside, Petit Parisienne, then Kalkia, Karazak and Top Notch, uh, Peace and Co in the middle of the field alongside the black jacketed Devilment, light blue colours far side is Stars Over the Sea, Old Guard is wide of Pano Chocolat and then further back is Matariko as they jump the second. Barricada Tay is amongst the back markers with Beltor who's held up from Prairie Town. Heading now towards the back straight and Ruby Walsh means business here on Dicosimo. He's going to try and run them into the ground by the look of things. Dicosimo leads the way to Hargem on the inside of Petit Parisienne. Then top notch the inner of Officer Drivel. Peace and Co taking slightly closer order now towards the outside, followed by Karazak. Then Kalkir back on the inner from Old Guard and then Matariko in the center of the field with uh, Devilment and Stars over the sea as Dicosimo flies over flight number three at the back. Slow there was Barricada Tay. Dicosimo by a uh, good uh, five, maybe six lengths to Petit Parisienne in second place, spearheading the chasing pack. Good jump by Hargam on the near side. Then Officer Drivel, Peace and Co travels well. Then top notch, Karazak is in amongst the leading six or seven. The leader jumping beautifully. Devilment is further back. Then Pano Chocolat, stars over the sea. Old Guard making some ground on the outside in that noseband from Bell Tor, who's a bit short of room round there. And then f further back behind these, Matariko. Approaching three out, Ruby Walsh on Dicosimo continues to make it in the Richie colours, the colours that have been worn to victory this week by superstars Fahin and Vertor. Leads by three legs there at three out. Dicosimo, who has served it up to them from the outset. Petit Parisienne second. Hargam on the near side under AP McCoy. Then close is the favourite Peace and Co. Barry Geraghty stalking the leaders, followed by Top Notch on the inside. Then uh, behind them, Stars over the sea. Karazak is pushed along a little outpaced, and then Devilment to the outside and Officer Drivel and Kalkir's back on the inside. Heading on now down the hill towards the second last and Dicosimo is only a length in front now of stable companion Petit Parisienne and Brian Cooper. Peace and Co on the outside moving menacingly well but so too is Hargam and also the other Henderson runner top notch. Here is the second last flight of hurdles. Dicosimo lands ahead just from Hargam on the inner. 
Then behind these on the outside, Petit Parisien coming under pressure, but Peace and Co is swinging on the bridle. Then top notch, Peace and Co a little short of room there, trying to get out round the leaders and was held in by Petit Parisien on the run to the final flight. Hargan produced by McCoy, top notch coming through. So too Peace and Co, the Nicky Henderson juveniles are dominating as they run towards the last, but which one is going to win? Peace and Co on the near side, Hargan far side, top notch between the pair. They're going to rise almost together at the last. Peace and Co at top notch, and who can quicken the best? Top notch from Peace and Co, top notch narrowly. Now he goes for Peace and Co, and Peace is broken up the hill, and the favourite is edging ahead and wins. JCB drive winner Peace and Co from top notch, followed in third by Hargan. What a result for the Henderson team. One, two, and three. Devilman back in fourth. Then Petit Parisienne, Bell Tour, Stars Over the Sea, followed home by Di Cosimo, and then Old Guard and Matarico, Karazak, uh, Prairie Town, Barricade Tay, Pano Chocolat, and Officer Drivel. Nicky Henderson, sixth winner of the JCB Triumph Hurdle. He won it before a long time ago, first bout. Caterino alone success, Zainar Soldatino. This time it's Peace and Co. He was a hot favourite, but he had to work really hard to get by top notch on the run in. Barry Garrett here and Daryl Jacob engaging in a war up the hill.